minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Offense thundered into action. Napoleon Kaufman rushed for 139 yards against the Giants as the offense powered for over 400 yards. Wide receiver Tim Brown started in high gear with six catches, 127 yards, and his 65th pro touchdown. Drops back to pass, five steps, and he wings one out left. Tim Brown got it! Touchdown! Second year pros Grady Jackson, 90, and Chuck Osborne, 98, were ready, and a hostile front limited New York rushers to 71 yards. James Harris, 93, and Lance Johnstone, 51, recorded sacks. And rookie corner Charles Woodson answered all challenges. Defensive coordinator Willie Shaw's aggressive plan freed safety Eric Turner for another sack. Greg Davis's late field goal earned the winning margin. The snap is good. The hold is good. Greg Davis has it away, and it is good. Eric Turner's interception ensured victory and raised the Raiders' record in home openers to 28-7-1 since Al Davis took charge in 1963. The next week featured Eric Turner's 94-yard interception return, but the Raiders fell to the Super Bowl champion Broncos in the Coliseum. In week four, the Raiders traveled to Dallas for a battle of pro football's winningest teams. Daryl Russell, Grady Jackson, and Russell Maryland plotted, then attacked. Richard Harvey and Albert Lewis joined the assault. Offensively, precision passing by Jeff George, the big play capability of Tim Brown and Napoleon Kaufman, and the world-class speed of James Jett put Oakland ahead for good. Tim Brown comes left, picked up by Dion, and James Jett goes right, Kevin Smith has in. George back to the pass, looking right, throws up the sideline for Jett, it is Tim, and Kaufman Jett! He's gonna go in for a touchdown! As the ball was bobbled, and Jett caught it out of the air! As he beat Kevin Smith! For 75 yard touchdown! Late in the third quarter, pro sophomore Calvin Branch, number 27, showed speed and tenacity, running down super swift Deion Sanders to prevent a Dallas score. With the outcome in doubt, interceptions by Woodson and Turner secured victory on the road. Woodson. Charles Woodson coming up oh, 
best receivers are in, including Dion. He goes right here and out of the shotgun back to pass. He's throwing for it all right down the middle of the field. And it is intercepted by Eric Turner in the end zone. Eric Turner has done it again. Eric Turner may have just won the Coach game. Gruden and the Raider organization had reason to celebrate. The silver and black was again a force in NFL division races. One more big game on the road next week. It's a West Coast game. We got to sharpen it up. God bless you. It's a big win for us. Enjoy the play at home, man. Oakland's tour of the NFC continued against the playoff bound Cardinals in Arizona. James Folston, 55. James Harris, Greg Beekert, Richard Harvey, Pat Swilling, Chuck Osborne, and Lance Johnstone were relentless. Number 21, corner Eric Allen was unyielding. And rookie Charles Woodson scored his first pro touchdown. Back to pass, throw, ball intercepted by Woodson, and he's going to walk into the end zone for a touchdown. Charles Woodson, what a play! Alert Raiders intercepted three passes, including one by newcomer Marquise Walker, 38 setting up the deciding touchdown by Donald Hollis, subbing for injured Jeff George as the Raiders won 23 to 20. Raider hopes were flying high, seeking a third straight win. Russell Maryland and the defense pressured constantly at newly renamed Network Associates Coliseum. Number 57, Terry Wooden's interception was one of four by Oakland this day. Number 30, Anthony Newman, Marquise Walker and Eric Allen picked off passes as the Chargers were held to 78 net yards throwing. John Gruden inserted Wade Wilson for a fourth quarter spark. Protected by 79, rookie Mo Collins, now the left tackle with Pat Harlow lost with a season-ending injury. Wilson went deep. Has time. Goes deep on the left side. Looks in. He's got it. In the 30, 20, 10. He scored a touchdown. James Jett's dramatic touchdown gave the Raiders three straight wins and an NFL best record of 23 and 8 in one point game since 1960. John Gruden and a team with 26 new players were off to their best start since 1995. Special teams stepped up early against the Bengals with a crushing hit by number 41, Lewis Riddick. Six-time Pro Bowl corner Eric Allen, acquired as another astute free agent signing, continued his remarkable pass defense. With time to pass, provided by Collins, Kennedy, and friends, Hollis went to Tim Brown to jump ahead by seven. A perfect snap from center Adam True, a booming punt by Leo Aragoos, and ball-hawking coverage by Greg Beekert, Lewis Riddick, and Mike Morton gained possession in Bengal territory. Coach Gruden attacked immediately. Moving up behind Barrett Robbins, Derek Graham, and Napoleon Kaufman, Donald Hollis hit James Jett, streaking goalward to put Oakland in front. The Raider defense added to the lead just minutes later. Donald back to pass on second down. Has time. Now flushed out, and he is attacked. He fumbled the ball. It's picked up by the Raiders. Racing it on the right side is Johnstone. They won't touch him. Raider domination rated thumbs up, and the 17-point win at home cleared the way for two in a row on the road. In week nine, the Raiders went trick-or-treating in Seattle. It's all about that defense, all day long, four quarters. Defense, 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 that's what it's all about, defense. Anthony Newman was right on target as Raider defenders hit everything in sight. 
First, haul his team with number 85, Terry Mickens. Then with Tim Brown, who broke Hall of Famer Fred Belitnikoff's Raider career receiving yardage record as Oakland moved ahead 7-3. to three. It's our turn, baby. It's our turn. Daryl Russell had six tackles, one sack, and one forced fumble. The Sunday night national TV audience saw the Raiders average 18 yards per completion. Tight end Ricky Dudley's touchdown helped the silver and black to its top point total of the year. Again, three receivers in play action pass. Moon throws down the middle. Tip and intercepted by Albert Lewis coming up the right side. Midfield. Albert Lewis became the oldest player in league history to score on an interception return as the defense again struck suddenly, converting turnover into touchdown. I told you about that defense that night. I told you about that defense that night. I'm going to tell you something, man. If you guys don't know how big a win that was, you'll know tomorrow. It's a hell of a win. It's a team effort. Offense, defense, special teams. Now, the effort was outstanding. outstanding. With their first five-game winning streak since 1990, the Raiders traveled to Baltimore. Jeff George fired one completion before again being injured. Donald Hollis came off the bench firing for 249 yards and this game-tying TD to Ricky Dudley. The defense was an ominous, intimidating force in silver and black. Harvey, Johnstone, Newman, Harris, Beaker, Russell and company limited the Ravens to just over 200 yards total. James Jett caught five for nearly 100 yards and the offense scored again, or so they thought. High formation, Richie ahead of Williams. Hollis gonna sneak, and Donald Hollis. Now the ball comes three hearts. Williams trying to run for it, and he is stopped on the goal line. Hollis tried to sneak it over, and the ball shot out. It was picked up by Harvey Williams as Hollis extended should've the ball, and it should have been a touchdown. Donald Hollis's sneak clearly was a touchdown. Then, on the game's final play, trailing 13 to 10, just a few yards outside field goal range, one of the 13 Baltimore defenders in the play intercepted. A five-yard penalty here would have allowed a tying field goal attempt. After the controversial loss, the Raiders returned home. A group of Raiderettes, football's fabulous females, greeted the home fans. Commitment to excellence was evident early as Steve Wisniewski, Greg Davis, Kenny Shedd, Rick Cunningham, Calvin Branch and the entire squad saw the season sweep over Seattle. Rookie fullback John Ritchie, number 40, powered off tackle, while halfback Harvey Williams, 22, went outside and airborne to gain over 100 yards. Tight end Derek Brown worked cross field for big yardage, and Harvey Williams traveled downfield to do the same. Russell, Johnstone, Jackson, Wooden, Beaker, Harvey, Woodson, and the skillful defensive unit dominated the Seattle offense. Playing with controlled fury, defenders swarmed Seahawk runners and passers alike, but lost one turnover on a fumble, ruled an incomplete pass. Desmond Howard, convoyed by Branch, Shed, James Trapp, 
Bucky Brooks and Randy Jordan return to punt 63 yards for a touchdown. 37 yard line left, 40, 45 midfield, 45, 40, he may go, 30, 20, touchdown, David Howard! The talented Raiders secondary hounded Seattle receivers. Unfortunately, corner Eric Allen was lost for the rest of the season with an injury on this interception return. Defensive tackle Daryl Russell, agile, mobile, and hostile, racked up another quarterback sack. Offensive lineman Collins, Wisniewski, Robbins, Graham, and Lincoln Kennedy Tight end Ricky Dudley and fullback John Ritchie opened huge holes for Raider runners. Pro Bowl bound Charles Woodson's final play interception sealed another Raider victory. Rainy skies and smiling Raiderettes greeted the Raiders' attempt to go 4 and 0 against NFC opponents. Napoleon Kaufman rushed for 152 yards and one touchdown against the Redskins. Hollis came off the bench to target Terry Mickens and Tim Brown for late touchdowns. But the injury-riddled Raiders were unable to add to their outstanding interconference record. Next, John Gruden and the Raiders sought to improve on their 7-1 league record against Miami in Oakland. Harvey Williams demonstrated his value and versatility as a receiver, runner, and passer. Raider all-time reception leader Tim Brown added to his remarkable career totals with nine catches, 104 yards, and two touchdowns. Young fans cheered as four decades of Raider determination was exemplified by current young players like Marquise Walker, Harry Carter, Richard Harvey, and Daryl Russell. The roar of the crowd thundered through the Coliseum as Terry Wooden's punt block was returned by Kenny Shell. But despite fourth quarter heroics, the Raiders fell 27 to 17. In San Diego, first year Raider Jermaine Williams and veteran Steve Wisniewski and Daryl Ashmore were anxious to attack. San Diego native Daryl Russell, linebackers Greg Beekert and Richard Harvey, and the entire defense set out to control their own destiny. Number 28, Randy Jordan, had his best day as a pro, rushing for 82 yards. A Leo Aragu's punt and swarming coverage by Mickens, Morton, Branch, Shedd, Beaker, Folston, and Jermaine Williams gave offensive coordinator Bill Callahan a chance to strike quickly.
Wilson to drop. Looks one right left, wide open, ground, touchdown! Wade Wilson tossed two touchdown passes and James Jett topped 100 yards receiving to lead the offensive charge. Special teamers excelled like 53, Travian Smith, one of a group of Raiders, including Gennaro DiNapoli, Jeremy Brigham, Pat Barnes, Vince Amy, and Rodney Williams. Attacking Raider defenders had three sacks, limited the Chargers to just 79 yards rushing, and picked off two passes. This one by Anthony Newman. Woodson's interception clinched victory for John Gruden, and the battle-hardened Raiders won for the eighth time this year, doubling the 1997 win total. Big Ed has always been one of the worst 90 Beyonce cast members. 